breaking news in South LA, a fire at an abandoned commercial building in the Green Meadows neighborhood has turned deadly. Firefighters tell us it was being used for a cannabis grow operation. Let's go to NBC4's Bailey Miller live at the scene with the latest. Bailey, good morning. Do we know anything about the person who was killed in this fire? Hey, good morning, Michelle. So what we know right now is that a man in his 40s has died here in this fire. So that's all we know right now because the investigation, it's still very early on right now. But fire crews did tell me this was an incredibly explosive fire. That's because, as you mentioned, they found out this was a cannabis operation soon after they arrived. So take a look, though, at this video from overnight. And you can see fire crews, they were dispatched just after 1 a.m. to this major emergency fire here at Manchester and Wadsworth. Upon arrival, flames were ripping through the roof and towering overhead. Fire crews say it was believed to be a vacant building, but they soon learned it was a cannabis operation with large containers scattered around with unknown chemicals inside. This changed the way the fire crews attacked those flames. So about 115 firefighters were on scene and it took 75 minutes to knock it down. Fire crews say they were extremely fortunate because of how many unknowns there were here at the scene. When we see fire through the roof on arrival, that's that's what we're thinking is going to be one of our biggest dangers. But we never know what we're going to encounter once we go inside there because this does appear to be vacant. So we have to use a rotary saw and force entry into here. So when we go inside there, that's when we don't know what we're going to discover. So if we're discovering propane tanks, if we're discovering other unknown hazardous chemicals inside there, that can pose a real significant danger to our firefighters as well. And ultimately this roof ended up collapsing and our firefighters fortunately got out before that happened. So we were able to, to knock down this fire and also prevent it from getting to other structures. Now, after the fire was knocked out, a woman came up to fire crews and said her husband was inside. Fire crews then conducted another search, and that's when they found the victim, a man in his 40s. Now, as of right now, it is still unknown if this was an illegal operation, but fire crews did say it was not placarded here on this building, and it was a vacant building with no signage on the outside. So LAPD, they're here on scene investigating, and as you can see behind me, LAFD, they're still here as well mopping up the scene. Reporting live here in South LA, I'm Bailey Miller. I'll send it back to you.